What's up, man? This is your boy, Laugh. What's up, man? Like you look clean, looking six. And of course, we are here for the Power Theory Show, in which we also will share you something that stars put out for us to see something that's going to happen this week's episode, which going to lead into our theory. Of course, I'm joined with the one, the only, Unico Williams. How you doing, Unico? Hey, hey, man, let's, let's, man, let's, let's, let's get to this because, uh, hey, let me, see, I, I need to see this. I'm seeing people talking to Sack still. I, I need to, I need to know. I'm seeing Tejada's talking to Saxes, and you know what happened with Sax. We don't, I don't look. Can we? Can I roll the clip? Roll the clip. I'm, I'm gonna have to roll this clip because I'm not. I'm not here for this, man. I am not here for it. Let me see. Let me see here, y'all. Let me. Let me see. I know y'all see uh, uh, Councilman Mays over there. All right, let's let's look. I want you only talk to me. Us. You should be out real quick. I mean, they don't have a case against you, and they know it. Well, they do have that video. And they might have gotten the bag from the locker. A bag whose contents you have zero first-hand knowledge of. OK, OK, let's say that's true. We should still discuss who told you about those lockers. Immaterial if she doesn't know what's in the bag. Well, she hasn't exactly said. She hasn't said she does. Because we haven't heard her side of the oh, story. Can you both just shut up? You're right. Excuse us. We haven't even asked what you want. Please go ahead. They are threatening to go after my family. So none of this falls on anyone but me. Understood. Absolutely. But that might require you to plead guilty. And as officers of the court, we can't let you do that if you're in fact innocent. OK, well, what if I do know what was in the bag? What if I Hello, oh, I'm partner. I am so sorry. So, so sorry. Ah. Oh, God. You know what? Come on. Come on, let's go get that cleaned up, man. Yeah, that's gonna leave a mark. We got a sous vide pork chop over here. Diana, I believe we have enough for now. Put sacks on F. Trust me. Listen. Okay. 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 What's. What are we. We okay. Setting her up, Joe. We setting her up. Put in there. Hit up. But you know, it's not always the way that it seems on that show. So the little bit of teaser that they just gave us is saying that first of all, Sax is talking like a prosecutor, a dirty prosecutor, and he got he's still trying to get that girl back. Then you got, then you got uh uh um doggone Davis, B Davis McLean. You got you got you got McLean needing sacks information to get his brother out. His brother out is out now. So do I really need you anymore, sacks? What and but but well, but he know, now know, we know Tariq know because Lauren told him sacks is on the team. So if sacks if sacks gets put on Effie, right? Sacks gets put on Effie, and then it's probably he's been feeding information. To, to the to the feds and that's Marco. a conflict of, that's a that's a conflict of interest right which would mean that that case gets thrown out against Effie the Tejadas and they gotta get out that's my prediction okay okay yeah yeah so we, yeah I'm lawyer yeah. Williams yeah but we we seen in the we see all in the preview that Effie's running from the police we also saw the scene when Lauren put it in the window and she and saw Effie like she saw a ghost, so we see that. We see we see Kane be like, "You trying to set up Effie?" And he's like, "I'm trying to get us off this case." So all this pointing to Effie getting got, <laughs> and but I think it's also the way they get out too, because I think Effie was, might have to take them. Effie might have to take them. Uh, take them Tasha braid cornrows uh, for a second. She might have to take them cornrows for a second. No, the thing is, Tasha Tasha was willing. Effie ain't willing to take. <laughs> And by the way, the problem is Kane is going to hundred percent tell her that she can set up and going to try to help her in every way possible, even against his mama's will, because he feels like his mama done did something to his daddy. I'm telling you, so it's going to be like Tariq and Monet versus Kane and Harry in the strangest power battle there ever was. You know, listen, that's my theory. And the end of this episode is going to be like, like, and uh, who Drew going to pick? Who Brady going to pick? 
Brayden can't technically pick either because Brayden kind of set everybody else in a dangerous position because all their family funds are in a Ponzi scheme right now that if it fails, <laughs> both of them will end you. Bro, yeah. I promise you, the worst place to be for Brayden is to have is to have Tariq money, trust fund money, and Kane trust fund money in your uncle's Ponzi scheme. They better stay from off the top of that roof. That's all I know. At this point, everybody needs to stay from off the top of that roof. But I know the first thing, the first scene of it's got to be a, a non smiling ass uh, Monet that ain't never smiled in this whole show that since we've known her. She, Tariq. They, they got, they got a damn, I forgot the girl. They're messing up my skit. But anyway. She hit her with that. You the reason they got down? They, they got, they got, they got died. What the? You already know how you, what the fuck? They got to die. So you need to get out of there. Boom. Well, I don't think is, the thing is, they don't have nothing on Tariq and Monet, so that's the biggest problem. They got they just All they got is that Effie is connected to Tariq. And she been on that rooftop. Well, they've been and Lauren done told about the drugs being on the rooftop. So the only thing they know is that the, all three drugs match. Diana had one. And Effie had one, and Effie assumedly had one, and she's trading at that school, and Diana was trading at another school, and then you got the hardest one is the is um Braden's family thing, but they know it's connected, but they know Tariq died, but they don't have no ev- evidence that Tariq is actually connected. Again, and, Tariq, and, Tariq and, has um, and we got Braden's uncle that got all of them by the balls, man. And the most dangerous person in the whole show is Norma. <laughs> Cause she got snipers in. Let's not forget about that part of it. Then we got Norma. What if one of what if one of y'all snitch? No, my bad. I'm sorry. What if one of you wants to snitch on me? I don't oh. think you like that very much. It's over with. Then we're gonna see uh we're gonna see uh what's my name from, from Bel Air, the this new the new Bel Air. Uh, oh, so uh, what you're saying, Joe, is that at the end of the series, Lauren and Tariq is gonna be in witness protection because Norma coming to get. Yeah, that be a dope end of the season. Like, how dangerous is this woman? The police like we gotta get y'all out of here. I thought y'all wanted to put him in jail. We do, but this woman that took out three of our police trying to get to him. Thought we gotta get out of here. Man, if she had Mecca and Mecca is under police protection, police witness protection, and she knows that. Yeah. And they in love. That ain't the only person. Because what if Mecca got somebody out there that's like, if anything ever happened to me, call her. Yeah, it's a, it's a, but at the end, but also, Mecca was about to dip off and go into the sunset with his new with his with his new family. <laughs> but she wasn't tripping. Man, it's, it's too many, it's too much, too much twisting ties, man. Too much twisting ties. That's our theories on the show. Let us know how you feel. That what do y'all we think will happen? We put we put it out there. Hey, listen, Tar- I said Tariq gonna go off into witness protection because Norma is too dangerous. Uh. And, or we have the scenario where it's Tariq and Monet versus Kane and Effie. A lot of different scenarios. Y'all let us know what y'all think. Unico. Last Unico stop. Williams. Where can they find you? UnicoWilliams.com. All roads lead to me. And then you know where to find me come Thursday night. I will be at Guardians of the Galaxy um, at that late night showing. But you can also find me watching Power on Thursday at midnight, Friday at midnight, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to have a new episode for you. Do you hear me? Yeah, episode probably out a little earlier that day, so I'm gonna try to get out a little early because I do gotta watch. Me me. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> it's also me on me too. Look at it, look at it. Uh, but you can find me on f- Friday. Um, the show might be the power episode review might be out a little early on Friday. We are gonna put it out. We probably gonna put it out a little early since I am going to see Guardians of the Galaxy. And then we're gonna do the Guardians of the Galaxy review that night if y'all interested in that show. But y'all know every week, y'all know what we do every Friday. The power episode out Saturday, the trailer episode out, and then Monday or Tuesday, we put what we thought on our theory videos out, which probably out on Tuesday. So, I do appreciate y'all for watching. We're gonna do other shows too, just let us know if you're interested. I appreciate y'all. Y'all might not know who we are, but soon, but soon you will. But until then, it's who are these niggas? <laughs>